Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create footer in WordPress using Elementor for free. So let's get started. So to create footer using Elementor, at first we must need to have Elementor installed on our website and then we need to install another plugin that we are going to use to create footer in WordPress for free. So we are going to click on plugins and then we are going to click on add new. And now here we are going to search for Elementor header and footer. And we are going to install this plugin Elementor header and footer builder. So click on install now. Once the plugin is installed just click on activate. And now from the left menu we are going to click on appearance and then we are going to click on Elementor header and footer builder. Now from the top we are going to click on add new. Now we are going to skip this step from here. After that we are going to give it a name. And now from type of template drop down we are going to select footer. And after that we are going to choose where we want to display our footer. So we are going to click on this drop down. And here it will show us multiple options where we want to display our footer. If you want to display your footer on particular pages or posts then you can select them from here. But I want to display my footer on the entire website. So I am going to select entire website from here. And from the user roles I am going to select all. And after that I am going to click on publish. So as you can see that our footer template is now published. And now we are going to edit this footer template with Elementor and create our own custom footer. So we are going to click on edit with Elementor. If you have the Elementor Pro then you can use pre-built templates. Just click on this add template button and after that just click on blocks and from the category just go for footer. And here you will see all the footer templates that you can use on your website. But as we do not have Elementor Pro, so I am going to close it from here and we are going to create our own custom footer. So we are going to add a new section here. Just click on this plus button and after that we are going to select the columns. So we will go with three columns. So now our section is added with three columns and from the content width I am going to set it to full width. And after that I am going to add top and bottom padding. So I am going to click on advanced and we are going to select padding. I will go with 50 from the top and 50 from the bottom. Now we are going to change the background color of our footer section. So we are going to click on style. After that we are going to select classic background from here. And now we are going to choose its color. So I will go with this color. You can choose your color according to your own choice or branding. So in the first column we are going to add our company logo and a little bit detail about our company. And in the second column we are going to add our menu and in the third column we are going to add our contact details. So now I am going to click on this cube from here. And at first I am going to add image. Now I am going to click on choose image. And we are going to upload our logo here. Now click on select. So we have successfully added our logo. Now we are going to give it a custom size. So we are going to click on this drop down and after that we are going to click on custom. Now we are going to give it a custom size. And after that we are going to click on apply. Now we are going to add our text here. So we are going to click on cube again. And now we are going to drag text editor to the footer. At first we are going to change its color to black. After that we are going to give it a padding from the left and right. So I will set 70 from left and 70 from right. So as you can see that now it's looking good. So we are done with the first section and now we are going to add our navigational menu to the second column. Just click on cube again. And now we are going to search for menu. And we are going to add this navigation menu to the footer. After that we are going to select our menu and as you can see that our menu is now added and now we are going to change the color of our menu. So we are going to click on style and under the typography section here we will see text color. So we are going to click on this color 
and after that we are going to change it we will go back to content again and then we will go to layout and we will change the layout from horizontal to vertical and now we are going to add a heading on top of this menu so we are going to click on this cube icon again and we are going to drag this heading widget and we are going to change its name and also color and now in the third column we are going to add our contact details so we are going to copy this from here and paste it in the third column and we are going to change it to contact and now to add contact details we are going to add another widget so we are going to click on this cube again and now we are going to search for icon list and we are going to drag it to the footer now we are going to add our contact details here so at first we are going to enter our email and now we are going to select the icon for our email so we are going to search for message or and we are going to choose this envelope icon for our email and we are going to click on insert and now we are going to change the icon color as well as typography color so we are going to click on style and then click on icon now here we will see color we are going to change it to black and same goes for the typography we are going to also change it to the black and now we are going to add our phone number here so click on content again select second list item and here we are going to add our number and we are going to remove the third list item so as you can see that our contact details are now added and now we are going to add social media icons here so we are going to click on cube again and here we are going to search for social and we are going to add these social icons to the website we are going to change their alignment to the left side and now to add the links just click on the particular social media and we can add our link here after that we are going to click on update and now in the last section we are going to create a copyright section for our website so we are going to add a new section from here and we will go with one column now we are going to change its color so we are going to click on it and we are going to click on style now we will select classic from here now click on color and we are going to change it to black now we are going to click on the cube icon again and we are going to add a new heading here we are going to set the alignment to center and now we are going to add our copyright text here so we have added our copyright text now we are going to click on style now at first we are going to change the text color so we are going to click on color from here we are going to change it to white and now we are going to decrease the size of this text we are going to add 17 here and now we are going to select this section and after that we are going to click on advance and now we are going to give it a margin so at first i am going to delink the values now i am going to give 20 from the top and now i am going to give it a padding so i am going to delink the values from here and i am going to add 10 from the top and 10 from the bottom and as you can see that our copyright text is now also added so now we are going to click on update so now if i visit my website and scroll down to the bottom and here you will see the footer section that we have just created so that's it for today thanks for watching please like